welcome to Hangzhou. I'm Nick Mitchell, the founder of FXG, and today I want to show you life under the coronavirus. Before the outbreak, Hangzhou was full of life and business. People everywhere, working, traveling, they're just having a good time. Hangzhou isn't just the tech capital of China, but it's also a popular tourist destination. And no stop to Hangzhou would be complete without the West Lake. Let's say who's there during the epidemic. So here, this is uh, like a tea house, um, restaurant boat. So you can get tea, you can uh, get a snack. Uh, as you can see, we're the only people here. Across from us is another boat. Nobody in it. drones flying around the countryside. About a week ago, uh, two weeks ago, the streets were completely empty. There was nobody outside. A little bit closer, I'll let you see how big this building really is. Surprising with a day as nice as this. One of the first truly really nice days in spring. So here we are in the mall. You can see Adidas, Corona, Converse, Calvin Klein, um, but it's empty. Other than a couple of workers, I don't see a single shopper. Uh, the FXG offices are just down there. Over there is a really Chinese style looking KFC. I went to eat lunch there, but um, they're only doing deliveries. So I just ordered a delivery and waited outside. I guess a drone landing pod. Um, I don't know what you call it, a mini airport for drones. Um, they got drones stared inside. You load them up at the bottom, they fly up through the top and they do deliveries. Um, they actually used to have drone deliveries of KFC. Um, they don't do that anymore. Probably wasn't financially feasible. Right here, this is called Yanjian VR Center. This is where the FXG offices are located. The hot spot of VR in Hangzhou. So, welcome to FXG. This is our offices in Hangzhou. As you can see behind you, there's our meeting space, a nice big Frederick banner on the wall. So you can see nobody's meeting. Um, time like this, face-to-face -face meetings are no longer the ideal. Nobody's hanging out outside. And let's see, sales team, accounting, and HR are in here. But it is empty. Currently, this entire team is working from home. But I've heard the computers are on downstairs and the production department is currently working. So let's take a look. What does that look like? Who would dare work at a time like this? And how do they work at a time like this? We're about to find out. Come on. So here we are. Uh, this is a video department. I uh, came in, turned on all the lights so it can be better for you. But, as you can see, most of the computers are on. You can hear the faint hum of our server in the background. And if we take a look, work is being done. Right here, Adobe Premiere is open. Somebody's editing a video. Uh, what's going on over here? After Effects. Uh, looks like they're choosing from a bunch of different clips to put something in. What else are people up to? The big problem with wearing the mask is you don't get a lot of oxygen. So when I talk a lot, I totally run out of oxygen. I start getting super dizzy. So I think I'm gonna stop this film. I wanna go home. I'm actually a little bit nervous being outside, but uh, personally, I really wanted to see the world. I haven't been out for a month. And also I thought maybe you'd be interested. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And one last thing that I'm gonna show you is how do I get back into my community? where I was quarantined before, but now it's open to get out, but you need to do a certain way to get back in. So I'm gonna show you that, and you're gonna say goodbye to me as I re-enter my community and the safety and warmth of my home. So, <sighs> I really need more oxygen, but it's time to go home. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, now to get back home, let me show you something. This is called your health safety code. So this guy, he's gonna check my temperature, make sure I don't have a fever, and check this to make sure I'm safe. 
what does this mean? When I go outside, I set up this, it's opt-in, you don't have to do it. But every place they're worried, are you going to be safe? Have you been to Wuhan? Have you been with other people? Has anything dangerous happened? But using this scanner, they know it. I sign in for the system, it can tell where I am, I log in every day, says that I've been in Hangzhou. Today when I went to the mall, same thing. At the mall they want to know for sure that you're safe, so I have this. This is really cool. Oh, one other thing you can see behind, all of those, those are deliveries. So I've been able to eat. I order vegetables, delivery man comes, drops the vegetables here, and then runs away. And that way I'm able to get my vegetables, but I don't need to contact him. So today this is a real example of technology making the world a better place. So I risked my life to bring you this film. I think I deserve at least a like, a subscribe, and a share. Thank you so much. See you next time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.